Welcome to the Power Packed Podcast. Please be quiet and courteous and silence your cell phones now. Be sure to grab some snacks and concessions, located in the lobby. And now our feature presentation. Prepare for better. Welcome to an exciting episode of the Power Packed Podcast. Uh, today, I will be your only host, Josh, and uh, we're going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to do a little uh, summertime special episode, and it might be weird, it might be awkward, um, but there will be music, and there will be some other fun things, so um, yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, get yourself comfortable. Um, go on and get yourself maybe a bag of popcorn, maybe some Swedish fish. Maybe, you know, maybe some chocolate-covered pretzels. I don't know. Get yourself something. Sit down, relax, put your feet up. Maybe have a pina colada. Maybe have a kombucha. I don't know. Have what you need. Have what you want. I really don't care. And welcome to the Power Packed Podcast. This is Summertime Special. All right, so uh, we have an, kind of an exciting lineup tonight. Uh, we have a few things going on, um, pretty packed agenda. It's going to be great. Uh, I have a couple special guests that I will be do, conducting a kind of a brief interview with. Um, we got some, some stats on um, just some trends this year. Uh, we're going to listen to you know a couple of uh, new songs that I um, have for you, you know couple little song songs you know and uh we got um you know we'll close it off with some some happy stuff it's been a weird year uh figured this episode could uh brighten up your day or it could ruin it i don't know it's up to you but uh yeah let's get started all right so uh we got a very 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 special guest uh tonight um all the way from uh from oklahoma uh Mr. Uh, Mr. Joe Exotic, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, th- thanks for uh, thanks for being on the show, Joe. Yeah, you bet. Um, thanks for having me, Josh. Uh, wish that other boy, other gentleman, uh, John, that boy. I wish he was on, but I won't lend my expertise. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, John is uh, currently. Um, just uh, being a musical wizard, uh, a bearded wonder, and a southern gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, how are you? How was uh, how was prison? Prison was good. He's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I really want to get back to my tigers. Most importantly, um, I got you know got a lot of you know job offers up and uh, presumed up right now. And, uh, yeah, you know, I just, um, excited to get back and, 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 get, and get my zoo back, you know? That's nice, yeah, yeah, I bet. Um, I bet you are. So, uh, you know, what are your, what are your thoughts on, uh, Carol Baskin? That's Carol Baskin. Name Steve told my, took my zoo, took my show, took everything. Well, when I get back, when I get back to Oklahoma, I'm gonna get my zoo back. It's gonna be better than ever. I'm gonna get that zoo. We gonna I'm gonna run for president. I can still put my ballot in. We saw Kanye did it. Kanye put his ballot in. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna run for president. Wow, a, a presidency. That's a that's a big um that's a big uh you know, that's a big thing to do, you know. It's uh, it's coming up. Be you know, getting imp- uh, being a president. Uh who who do you think would be your your running mate? Um for presidency if you uh had to pick someone 
I think I would, um, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably pick um, Tony the Tiger. Like Tony the Tiger, as in, uh, as in the, the fictitious cartoon character. Tony the Tiger. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, that's cool. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. I, I really, um, I know time is money, you know, in your books. Uh, you're a famous guy now. Uh, how was, uh, we won't keep it too long, but uh, how was, uh, how was life after, you know, it, it's crazy. You, you go to prison and you become, you become famous and you don't get to enjoy it because you're in prison. What is it like now? What are you, what are your plans? What are you going to, what are you going to do? I think I'm, uh, that's a good question. I think I'm going to get myself, my new husband, I'm going to get myself some more tigers. I'm going to get myself a zoo. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to do some big things. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm not him. Let's see, what was that last part? Yeah, I'm not him. All right, Joe Exotic, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That was uh, a big fan. Big fan. I enjoyed the Tiger King series. Um, I watched all of it, uh, pretty quick. Um, yeah, if you have, uh, what's your favorite Netflix, what show have you been binging? Uh, drop it to the power pack podcast at gmail.com. We want to know. Um, so that next episode when John and I meet, uh, we will have some things to chat about. All right. So, um, yeah, this this is really fun. I'm I'm really enjoying this. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Next bit. This is kind of cool. Um, I am gonna look at some trends. We're gonna look at some online trends. Some some fun. Some things online. Google. All right. Google. So in Google, Google. Okay. You get uh, Google is an LLC, an American multinational technology company that specializes in internet-related services and products, which includes online advertisement, technologies, a search engine, cloud computing software, and hardware, according to Wikipedia. Founded September 4th, 1998, Menlo Park, California. Um, their headquarters now is in Mountain View, California. Um, they own a couple of things. Uh, YouTube It's one of them. Um, yeah, so uh, anyways... Google. I'm going to Google some items. So we're going to look at some trends. Uh, top five. So we're going to look at uh, top five most Googled foods. So uh, top um, Googled foods. 2020. Let's look at that. So let's, let's see what it comes up. Um, we're having some troubles here. It's not giving me... Let's try this again. Most Googled Foods. There we go. That's that better. Um, okay. Uh, it's uh, more like recipes. Okay. We'll just this. This isn't what I wanted, but it's whatever. Uh, top ten most Googled recipes since stay-at-home orders. Um, what do we got here? Um, let's see. Okay. So. Okay. Um, banana bread. Pancake, chicken, pizza dough, brownies, recite crepe is a crepe recipe, meatloaf, French toast, lasagna, cheesecake. Um, that's interesting. I wouldn't have guessed uh, those items. I was looking at just food. Like, what are people like? These are very Midwest items from what it looks like. Uh, I did not expect very basic food items. You, Everybody, I want you to step up your game. I want you to be making souffles. Um, macarons, you know, make something that's kind of hard to make. I'm challenging you. This is a challenge. Okay, so that's, that's the most Googled foods. Let's do um, uh, most Googled celebrity of 2020. Wait, uh, 2020. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, uh, easy one uh top one is um uh commander in chief uh you know the president day uh donald trump is the most um uh 
let's see what else we got here. Um, yeah, I. What else have we got? Um, okay. Oh, uh, Donald Trump, Jack Ma, Taylor Swift, Bill Gates, Drake, Kim Kardashian, Justin Bieber, Boris Johnson. Okay, that's the top. Um, of twenty twenty. Makes sense. Um, we're gonna do most googled animals. Okay, we're gonna see most googled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why are these? This is so stupid. Um, okay. Uh, okay, number one's easy. Dog. Okay. Cat. Number two. Three is rabbit. Four is bird. Five is horse. It's a weird horse picture. Chicken. Snake. Fish. Eagle. Shark. Ant. Pig. Duck. Bear. Lion. Wolf. Bee. Deer. Cow, monkey, okay, most Googled songs, okay, um, we don't have 2020, we have 2016, but that doesn't really help us, um, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd is number one, apparently most popular song. Um, this, these don't look like legitimate sites. Um, okay, number one, Beyonce's Formation, Prince's Purple Rain, Ray Shrimond, Black Beatles, Designer Panda, Drake One Dance, Dance, Cake by the Ocean, Adele Hello, Ruth B, Lost Boy, Disturb, Sound of Silence, and Mike Posner took a pill in a biza. Fun fact, uh, Mr. Jonathan Whip, his old band, How the West Was One, they actually got to perform with Mike Posner. It's a fact down in good old Corvallis. I think it was in Corvallis. Um, yeah, they got to open for him, which is, I think, pretty funny because um, his band is probably at least 100 times more talented than Mike Posner. No, no harm, Mike Posner. It's just you kind of suck. Um Okay, uh, last one. Uh, most Googled TV shows. This one will be fun. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, okay. Um, this is some weird. Okay, The Boys is 10. Surviving R. Kelly's 9. Dead to Me is 8. Euphoria is seven. Umbrella Academy is six. Mandalorian is five. I really like the Mandalorian. It's cool. Chernobyl's four. When They See Us, Stranger Things, and Game of Thrones. And that's. All right. So that is the, the top Googled things. Um, yeah. Uh, Okay, um, well, uh, next bit is exciting. Uh, we got a, I'm, um, John, uh, just celebrated an anniversary. Mm. <laughs> uh, so I wrote, um, him and his wife a little song. Just like, I didn't, I don't, I don't have money to buy them a gift. So a bit of power packed wisdom. If you don't have any money buy someone a gift you just write them a song because it's actually worth more if the song becomes a hit so um i'm gonna do a little um i'm gonna perform the song uh that i, I wrote for them um it's about their wedding uh a special beautiful day in their lives and uh uh john told me something cool that they had their wedding catered uh by denny's so i that just that really inspired me uh to write this little number um called uh grand slam and matrimony i uh hope you like it it's uh it's from the bottom of my heart uh happy anniversary uh john char uh, we'll take it away here
Yeah, that was a that's a fun little song. It was fun. I like uh, I like writing songs. Um, okay, this is uh, surprisingly harder than expected. Um, you're probably nobody's listening at this point, and that's fine. So, um, pumpernickel, pumpernickel. Okay, just make sure that you're paying attention. All right, so uh, we got um, this is a big deal. We got a very, uh, very other special guest, um, the most Googled person of the year, if you can believe it or not. Uh, we're going to invite him on. Um, uh, he thought that he was going to be interviewing uh, with Ellen DeGeneres, but um, we were able to capitalize on, on that. So we were able to get him here, and he's, he's just going to talk a little bit. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, f- the um, uh, Don- Donald Donald Trump. Yeah. Yes, thanks, thank you, Josh. Uh, thank you for um, thanks for inviting me on the show. I appreciate it. It's a wonderful day. Uh, good experience. Good experience to uh, be on here. Help out the l- l- little businesses, you know, and little people. Here, so, um, since yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for join uh, join us. Uh, you. You, um, do you have a high school diploma? What was that young man? Nothing, nothing. So, what is it like? You did TV, you did business, you, um, yeah. What is it like to be president? So, quite a wonderful, uh, wonderful experience, actually. We, uh, we, uh, we, what we like to do is we like to play golf, we like to gaslight. We like to go down to the um, chilies down the road. Just a couple of chilies, wonderful, wonderful experience. Good people, good food, good ambiance. Does that, that answer your question? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, okay, uh, I really didn't. I didn't write a lot of questions here. Okay, so um, do you do you actually eat? Um, let me look. I'm googling this. Uh, Donald Trump's 
Right. Okay. So I'm just checking. Okay. So is it true that you eat a McDonald's McMuffin, um, meatloaf, and then either um, a full McDonald's dinner of two Big Macs, two filet fish sandwiches, and a small chocolate shake, which is a, a 2,430 calories. Um, yeah, yes, uh, yes, uh, it's, it's great stuff. It's great. It's wonderful. Uh, we, we've, uh, we've, uh, we went and we go to McDonald's and I get the special, they call it the Donnie, the Donnie boy. And it's, uh, I just, I just say it and then I get what I want, you know, it's just, it's a wonderful experience, uh, actually. We, uh, we enjoy filet of fishes We, we do like fish. Okay. Uh, as Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Uh, the studio space smells like old McDonald's now. It smells really bad. It smells really bad. I don't feel very good. I feel sick to my stomach with the smell of old filet of fishes. I think I actually saw him eat a filet of fish before he came in here. Just like he just powered, and I heard something. He's like, you know, just he's gotta have a quick little, a quick little sandwich, fishy sandwich. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's. That's that. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just yeah, checking checking some real quick. Um, um, but, um, Yeah, so um, well, I was just checking. This is yeah, yeah. Just just watching something real quick. Um, okay. It's gonna take some time to realize mm -mm. But if you look inside, I'm sure you'll find Yeah, here you go Over your shoulder, you know that I told you I always be picking you up when you're down So just turn around I like that song. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I like that song a lot. Um. Uh, man, where did the time go? Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we got a couple other fun things uh, this evening. Um, it's it's been weird. It's been weird. Sorry. I'm gonna crack open a fresco real quick. Mm. <clears throat> peach citrus. Peach citrus. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna. It's been a weird year. It's been a lot of sad stuff going on. Um, but we're gonna, I got happy little, this is happy moments right here. Happy moments. Um, happy things that happened in 2020. There we go. Um, there's a lot of blogs. Oh, this sucks. There's so many blogs. Um, okay. We're just gonna have to, I don't know if any of these are credible, so. Um, let's see here. Um, there's a designer created wetsuits that look exactly like tuxedos. Um, I 
Uh, over 250 million trees are planted in India. Um, a plans for a floating movie theater were announced in Paris. Okay. Three things <laughs> happened in 2020 that were good. That'd be kind of cool. The Regal Cinemas. I'm, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. You need to get a floating movie theater down here in Oregon City, right by the falls. Right by William Falls. Re I want you to restructure it. So people listen to movies like, I can't hear nothing. I can't hear nothing. I can't hear nothing. They won't hear anything. Because the falls are really loud. It's really bad marketing. Okay. Um... I'm going to Google um, okay. so uh, alright uh, this is super easy uh, if you can if, uh, if you can Google no without Googling okay you can Google it's fine um you if email us powerpackedpodcast at gmail dot com. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal's shoe size, his height, and when he was born, his birth date, um, and we'll um, we'll read the email out on the episode. So, all right, um, uh, we got a couple other things. So uh, next we have. Um, so uh, I wanted to introduce, introduce you to a friend of mine. Uh, there's a individual. He is. He loves mayonnaise. He lo he drinks cups of mayonnaise. Uh, grandma, his grandma, um, is a little bit ornery, and so he, uh, um, he he likes to steal money from her. No, he doesn't steal money from her. No. Okay. He enjoys uh, a cup of mayonnaise um he's got an uncle who can't hear so he puts the power pack podcast to his face and his uncle shake his head in, in approval approval uh he's a little bit of a local legend down in the midwestern part of the united states uh mr gary bilson he's uh he's a, a patreon person for us and real quick uh we have a patreon uh power pack podcast um please donate if you can uh Gary Bilson and Crumb Baby. Uh, we got a couple people who already donated. You can get on that train too. So go ahead and hit that up. Uh, Gary Bilson, he has donated and he's also bought a t shirt. Unfortunately, that has my face on it. So um, just a little thank you to him. I wrote him a very quick song uh, that I'm going to play for you guys real quick. This is for you, Gary. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> Oh snapple bibbidi bop, your boy got into hip hop. Let me kick a verse off real quick about a man, a legend, Mayo Maestro Oklahoma Daddy, none other than my boy, Gary Bilson. Neck deep in burger grease, tractor out for lease, sipping mayo on a porch, NASCAR and course, of course, yeah, I got a horse. No remorse, Walmart shopping, dive bar hopping. Daddy's got a new whip, Ford F-150 Uncle Leo's getting drunk, her eyes looking shifty Get me a hunger man, big scoop of dapper dance Look at my shirt, my shirt made of Josh People at the market scream, oh my gosh What's on your shirt, is that the guy from Office Space? No it ain't, get out of my face Watch VHS tapes of Will and Grace I got VHS tapes of the Goonies I'm the mayor of the swamp, the king of the boonies Mayo drinking, I got the bank to earn Gen Z fools got a lot to learn.
right, we're back. Um, what do we learn tonight? What are we thinking? You know, it's it's okay to underpay celebrities to come on your show and talk, especially if they just got out of prison. Uh, acquiring a tiger zoo is not easy, but it can be done. Just put your mind to it. Uh, people are Googling really basic foods. I'm watching you. You should be making things that are more interesting. Uh, people like Googling dogs more than cats. It's a thing. Uh, number one song, most Googled song. I already forgot what it was. I think it was by the weekend. And um, Game of Thrones still going strong on Google. Um, uh, Donald Trump loves filet of fishes and McDonald's in general. And, um, you know, uh, friendship is great. So with that being said, we're going to close this one out. Uh, this has been fun. I've really enjoyed doing this with you guys. Uh, it's just been, it's been a wild ride, but it's been a great journey. So uh, we're going to, we're going to cap this off. Um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to sing a little, um, a little song for you guys. Uh <clears throat> as a little closing thoughts so um here we go <clears throat> all right welcome to the power pad podcast with friendship and news collide yeah, everybody can be friends it can be a real good time welcome to the power pad podcast we're drinking Fresca's cool, delicious Denny's, and lots of fun things for the children. That's what's enjoyable. Welcome to the Power Pack Podcast. Super fun and super cool. If you're feeling burnt out in your career, it's a good time to go back to school. If you like tomatoes, and eating them like an apple, then please stay away from me while I'm drinking my Snapple. Power Packed Podcast. Mmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Power Packed Podcast, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for tuning into our regularly scheduled program. Contact Josh and Jonathan at powerpackedpodcast at gmail.com. Support the show at patreon.com slash powerpacked. See you next time, you dirty little rat babies. <laughs>